ambassador for christ is here again i did a video the last time of how god used prophet tb joshua to bring back a dead man to life and how he used prophet tb joshua to heal a broken bone and then the bone was fixed back and the little girl was walking somebody sent me a demon and somebody dropped it in the comment section the person said even babalia will do miracles like that and i challenged the person i said if babalia will do that kind of healing that kind of deliverance show me a proof of how one that babalia has done and let me let you know that the devil only came to kill to steal and to destroy that is to let you know that the only thing the devil can do for you is to destroy your life I would like to watch this video of how God used Prophet T.B. Joshua to deliver this doctor, this medical doctor. God used him to heal this doctor from this sickness. The doctor had tried everything possible to set himself free from this particular sickness. But God used Prophet T.B. Joshua, just a touch by Prophet T.B. Joshua, this doctor was set free. They did not, this healing did not happen that the doctor went to and then came back with instantly instantly the doctor started walking inside the church i'll let you watch this video please subscribe to this youtube channel and share this video don't just watch share the video let us dominate this kingdom we tb joshua legacy must live on share the video and then watch the video how god used prophet tb joshua to deliver this doctor and how the doctor cry out for god's help watch the video Nigerian Dr. Uchendu Alexander has come to the Synagogue Church of All Nations from Gabon with the problem of difficulty in walking due to discompression and sciatica and is using pain-relieving devices for support. He has had this problem for the past 10 years. You can see the way and manner he walks because of the ailment. As a doctor, he has gone far and wide all over the world for solution and used all kinds of devices but to no avail. My name is Dr. Uchendo Alexander. I'm in Nigeria, residing in Gabon. I have difficulty in walking due to compressed disc and sciatica. I'm using these devices, the alpha spleen, to help myself. In, in, so that the pains can be reduced, and this Dr. Ho's pain reducer. I'm a pharmacist. Okay, sir. C'est homme dit être un, un docteur. Il souffre de difficultés à marcher, de la compression du disque de la colonne vertébrale et d'une sciatique. Il porte justement cette machine pour pouvoir le soulager de sa douleur. Il a dit que cela n'a aucun effet pour lui. Il souffre de problèmes depuis 10 ans. Y ahora el hombre de Dios, el profeta Tibilloso, está ministrando sanidad en la vida de este hombre que ha llegado con un problema de dificultad para caminar. Y él recibe ahora su sanidad en el nombre de Jesucristo. Okay, stand up. To God be the glory, he is free. Thank you, Jesus. I can walk normally now. I can exercise myself now. There's no more pains. Thank you, Jesus. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Church Emmanuel. I am Dr. Uchendo Alexander. I am a Nigerian living in Gabon. I came into Synagogue Church of All Nations with difficulty in walking due to compressed disc and satica. My brethren, as you watch the clip, these were my predicaments then, not now. You can see I'm a doctor. For the past one year, I could not do anything. And I'm an evangelist, a vibrant evangelist. I can't go for crusades again. I can't be able to stand for a long time to preach, neither to speak the word of God. This thing affected my life so badly that I cannot be able to stand, neither to sit down 
only sleep, lie down as someone that is sleeping. I can't drive my car. I can't help myself. I cannot do anything. I was hopeless and lifeless, thinking that I will die. Never knew that there's a hope somewhere. I've been to various hospitals. I've been to America. I've been to various hospitals in Gabon, various therapeutic homes, but they could not help me. You can see here, there are some devices on the table here, which was given to me to subside the pains. But when you use it, it cannot help you. I use it, I bath with this alpha spleen, I take water with it, I put it in my food, I put it in my body, I sleep with this as fast plane because the doctor told me that it's going to reduce the, the pains of the disc, the touch disc on my back. But it couldn't help me because this we are man-made. They could not help, they only subside, but they could not do what? Help. You can see also this uh, Dr. Ho's pain reliever. It could not help. So one day I was in my parlor watching Emmanuel TV and I saw the wonders the man of God was doing. I watched and watched and watched and my faith was lifted up. I said I have to go here because I saw the man of God healing those people that my case are worse than their own. Then I said I have to come to Nigeria and I was here on that faithful Sunday, and that faithful Sunday, you can see when man of God was praying for me, my brethren, you can see there's God here in the synagogue. <laughs> what no man can do, Jesus in the synagogue did it, did it for me. What doctors cannot help me? Jesus did it for me in the synagogue. <laughs> Those things that I could not do before, I do it perfectly now. Last week on Wednesday, I had to travel because I can't travel on the road. I took a flight to Were. On Thursday morning, I said, no, I want to go to Enugu so that I can board in to come back to synagogue on Saturday. Lo and behold, my brethren, I entered a bus, a peace bus, from Enugu to Were. For five hours, five whole hours, I could sit down. But the pains, as I put my hands on the back, it's like, imagine everything disappeared. I can't feel the pains. I can sit down, I feel well, I feel okay. I feel like as I was before. Emmanuel, you can see me running. You can see me, I'll bend this waist that I cannot bend before. You can see me turning. These are the things I cannot do before. But because of the God in the synagogue that delivered me, that healed me, I walk majestically because before I cannot walk like this. As a son of the king, I walk majestically. I don't use them again, so I don't need it for anything. My advice to viewers all over the world, when you have such problem, do not run away from God. Go closer to God. That is the only hope for the hopeless because God has every solution and he can change your situation. After watching this video, what is your own thoughts? What did you see that God used Prophet T.B. Joshua to do in the life of this doctor? In Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, it says, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavily burdened, and I will give you rest. If you are here and you are watching this video and you are sick, because a lot of people are very sick and they are ashamed to go to the Synagogue Church of All Nations for healing. Let me let you know that if you are sick and you are feeling ashamed to go to the presence of God for your healing, irrespective of what you must, must have heard from somebody that you did not even see for yourself or, or know by yourself. 
I'll, I'll advise you go to the synagogue church of all nations and receive your healing god is doing miracles in that church do not be ashamed do not be ashamed of god do not be ashamed of where you will receive your healing instead of you to die a premature death go to the synagogue church of all nations and receive your healing forever and ever that is my advice for you god is using the apostles and the the, the apostles and the wise men there god is using mommy evelyn joshua to do powerful healing and deliverance in the synagogue church of all nations so guys subscribe to this youtube channel and i am an ambassador for christ and i stand for jesus christ and tv joshua's legacy must live on forever and ever please subscribe to this youtube channel so that i can be dropping more videos for you and to encourage others people's feet i'll see you in my next video